I'm not sure any of us knew exactly what to expect when we visited Ecuador this summer, but that was also the appeal of flying south of the equator. We knew we were going deep into the Amazon, high into the Andes, and around the Galapagos Islands to study food security and how a developing nation is dealing with a culture that is rapidly changing in this rapidly changing world. Four days of fermentation, it's like you start feeling like alcohol, yeah? We visited remote villages accessible only by boat, where we learned how native people have been making the same nutritional drink called chicha in exactly the same way and using exactly the same tools they have for a hundred years. We met with local farmers who are using primitive equipment to harvest cacao and cassava, plantains and papaya, and then ship those products around the world. We learned how to prepare food in traditional ways, and even sampled some local delicacies that we would never find at home. Yeah, crush the head, crush the head. And just chew? Just chew it, yeah? Just bite. Like, it's like biting gum, yeah? We were immersed yeah. in every yeah. aspect of the culture and we ate up every minute of it. Not bad. That's not bad. Yeah. Even better. It just kind of tastes like pork. The fruit will get mature really rapidly. But Ecuador is also a player in this increasingly globalized world. <laughs> One banana plantation we toured produces more than 300 million bananas a year and sends them around the globe. We met a woman named Fernanda who makes $9 a day putting stickers on bananas. It was a journey around the country, but also one within. With every new experience, we learned new things about ourselves, about what our perceptions are, and how this newfound global lens changes how we see the world. Ecuador may be a small country, but the impact it had on us is vast, and it will last a lifetime. What we are having is the blogan or cerbatana or bodoquera in Quicho is called Pucuna.